and Naylor and Donovan both have black and gold for their school colors, and Naylor will have black with trimmed in gold and a little bit of white. They'll start a 5'11 sophomore, Gracie Gargak, a 5'10 senior, Shayna Tharp, Lauren Rich, a 5'5 senior, Cabrian Rogers, a 5'10 junior, and Brooklyn Urich, a 5'1 senior, will start for Coach Gene Decker. Gracie Gargak, Shayna Tharp, Lauren Rich, Cabrian Rogers, and Brooklyn Urich. For the Donettes, Coach Zach Moore, Erica Payne, a 5'10 junior, Haley Beal, a 5'10 sophomore, uh, Jayla Ella, a 5'8 junior, Shaylee Ficky, a 5'11 junior, and Paige Eddington, a 5'8 freshman, coming off that 26 point game at New Madrid last week. And the freshman been playing real well. And Coach Moore has definitely needed her to step in and play with the injuries and the girls that have moved and quit the team. And she's been doing a great job. We'll see what happens. They're playing a really good team here tonight. This is a tough a tough uh, matchup for the Donettes. Height-wise, the Donettes uh, equal, maybe even have a little taller starting five, but very experienced team on the floor for Naylor. And they've got three seniors and a junior and a sophomore out there. And it will be Rogers jumping against Shaylee Ficky. Naylor goes right to left. As you look at your radio, the Donettes from left to right. And we got eight minutes on the clock, and we are ready to go. And the ball tipped into the back court. Naylor controls. Brooklyn Urich brings it into the front court. Goes over between the circles. Right side to Tharp. They leave her open for a three, and it's good. And they cannot leave her open. Somebody has got to find her. She can fill it up. And Naylor breaks on top. 1-3-1 one, one zone, and Haley Beal overshoots Paige Eddington in the right corner, and it goes out of bounds. Slams off the wall, and the turnover for the first time for the Donettes. Donettes are playing a 2-1-2 two, two zone, and they better find Tharp. They take it to her on the right wing again. In the corner to Rich, back to Tharp on the wing. Takes one dribble, in the paint to Gargak. Puts it on the floor, goes in, her shot blocked by Haley Beal. But they're going to whistle her for a foul. And it will send Gracie Gargak to the free throw line to shoot two. She is the youngster out of the starters for Naylor. She got a lot of playing time last year for Coach Deckard. And her first free throw, no good. That was the first team foul against the Donets. It went against Haley Beal. Gargak, second one, in and out. Ball tipped around, and Shayna Tharp's going to get it off the floor. She missed the easy one. Another offensive rebound underneath by Rogers, and she puts it in. And I said a little bit earlier, the Donettes are just as tall, but they have got to rebound. they got to block out. Haley Beal dribbles through the press, and it gets it swiped by Tharp, and she's got a wide-open layup. Erica Payne tries to get back, but she doesn't get there, and Tharp makes the left-handed layup. And you can't dribble through that trap or press. And Haley Bills tried it, and this time they do get it into the front court. Vicky at the head of the key. Down low to Eddington. It's going to be knocked out of bounds by the Lady Eagles. And the Donets will inbound underneath their own basket, looking to get a, their first shot of the game off here. They trail 7-0. Beal open left corner. Three-pointer no good. And Tharp for the rebound for Naylor. Gives it to Yurik. Yurik dribbles up the left side. Gives it to Gargak in the paint to Rogers. Takes it down, shot up no good. Another foul on the Donettes. <clears throat> Naylor attacking the basket here. This one is on Jayla Elif. That's two team fouls, another shooting foul. Gargak missed to her first trip there. This is Cabrian Rogers, 5'10 junior. She makes hers, first one. She has three points. And it's an 8-0 lead for the Lady Eagles. Rogers second one is up. Man, boy, she's got a good looking shot. Perfect rotation on that ball. Comes off the fingertips. And another steal. Ball tipped around now, and Ficky's going to save it. And now they're going to say it went out of bounds. Last touch by Gracie Gargak. So the Donets will inbound over on the far sideline. 6.35 to go, Donette's still looking for their first points. She throws it left side to Payne, and the paint to Ficky, and it's picked off by Gargak. Those girls are about the same height. You can't throw it over the top of them. Into the front court, Rich, right wing. Back out front to Yurik. She swings it left wing to Tharp. 
Dribbles baseline, stops and pops, hits the front of the rim, no good. Ball bounces underneath, Tharp gets it back. She's double teamed, hands it to Gargak. Gargak into the paint, goes in, puts it up and in. And they are getting everything, every time they miss, they're getting it till they score, shooting till they score. Coach Moore has to use a timeout. Naylor on top, 11-0. Be back after the 60-second break on KYEC, 88.3 FM. No. Huh? Well, they got to get a rebound. They can't let them shoot till they make it. You can't, you can't dribble through that trap either. You got to pass it. Donnett's trail 11 to nothing, and Haley Beal throws it away. No pressure on her. She just throwed it out of bounds right at midcourt. Naylor's playing a 1 3 1 three quarter court trap, and they have the three big girls just across the half line. And the Donnets have got to pass it before they get to the uh, half line, in my opinion, to get it down there because they can get it down because they've got a guard playing on the back of the 1 3 1. And they should be able, if they can get it to one of the big girls, get some shots off. But they got to pass it before they get to those big girls. But they haven't even been getting it there. Brooklyn Urich playing on the front of that zone is uh, causing havoc. Tharp, head of the key, three-pointer, nothing but net. She has eight points already. And it's 14-0. And it is not looking good right now. Donettes get it into the front court. Beal dribbles baseline. And she just dribbles down and runs into Lauren Rich and she steps out of bounds. And it'll be another turnover on the Donettes. They have not yet want, tried to pass over the, from uh, in the back court and I think they can do it. Tharp is hotter than a firecracker. There's another three. 11 points for Shayna Tharp and it's 17 to nothing. And we're not, we haven't even played three minutes yet of the first quarter. Payne dribbles to the baseline, has it knocked out of bounds by Gargak. Coming in from Naylor will be Callie Pickrell, a six foot freshman, and she replaces Gracie Gargak. Another big girl coming in. LF inbounds it, and Urich knocks it away, picked up by Rich. She's got Pickrell on the left hand side, gives it to her. Pickrell lays it up too hard, and the Donets catch a break there. Payne gets the rebound. She tried to shoot it with the right hand instead of shooting her left-handed. Paige Eddington double teamed in the corner. In the paint to Ficky, puts it on the floor, knocked away. She should have just shot it. Either that or passed to Ellis, wide open underneath. Tried to put it on the floor, and she's tied up. And luckily for the Donettes, the arrow favors them, and they get to keep it underneath their own basket. She was wide open from about six feet. Erica Payne's open for a three in the corner, and it's good. Finally, the Donettes get on the scoreboard. 17 to three. We played about three minutes and 10 seconds before the Donettes scored. They better stay on Tharp. Rich fakes the three, dribbles inside the three point line. Hit of the key to Urich. Gives it to Pickrell, right elbow, back to Urich between the circles. Over to Rich on the right wing, cross court skip pass, Tharp open for three again and it's good again. And why in the world there, there's not somebody just standing beside her, I have no idea. They went over on Rich and she hadn't even attempted a shot yet. 20 to three. Payne has it out front over to Beal. And she tries to throw a baseball pass cross court. The Elif and Rogers gets a hand on it. And guess who it goes out of bounds off of? Elif tried to catch it after it was tipped. And uh, she should have just let it win. <laughs> so Don Etzer looked like they're gonna go man to man. Or, yeah, that's what they're doing here, I believe. Urich got it out front, gives it to Tharp on the right wing. Right back to Urich. In the paint, gets it to Pickrell. 
fakes, goes to the left side, shot up, and it's blocked by Shaley Thickey, but Rogers runs it down and kicks it out front. Rich is going to fire three, in and out. Ball tipped around, it's going to go out off of Naylor, and they almost had another easy basket on the re offensive rebound. Gargak gets to the scores table, and she's going to check back in for Rogers. Three thirty-eight left in the first quarter. Twenty to three in favor, favor of Naylor. Erica Payne will bring it up, get it into the front court. He's hounded by Yurick. Now Yurick backs off, and Naylor will play his own. Right wing to Eddington, almost traveled, dribbles baseline, and we're going to have a blocking foul called against Naylor. I think it's going to be Lauren Rich. That is team foul number one on Naylor. Yeah, left in, bounded. And her pass intercepted by Pickerel. She tried to throw it on the other side of the court. You cannot throw that ball over those big girls. They are too tall. Urich gets a path down and gets around Payne. Nobody picked her up. And she gets her first two points. And that is Urich's first two, and it's 22 to three. And Coach Moore has to burn another timeout. The team has fallen down by 19 with 3.09 left in the first quarter. We'll take a 30-second break. We'll be back with more Don S. Basketball on KYEC, 88.3 FM. Coach Moore's used two timeouts here in the first quarter, and the Donettes trail it 22 to three with three minutes left. Beal passes down low, it's tipped away again, ball loose on the floor, and we're gonna have another tie ball, and this one will belong to Naylor. They're trying to pass it over the zone once they get into the front court from about, oh, five, six feet uh, past the head of the key, but they're farther back. If they try to throw it before they get to mid court, I think they can get some of them over, at least enough to make them back up a little bit and make it a little easier to get it down into the front court. In the paint, Callie Pickrell catches, turn around jumper, no good. Ball tipped around and it goes right to Gracie Gargak. Over to Tharp, fakes the three. Now she's open off the glass, pretty shot. As Tharp is on fire with 16 here in the first quarter. And Brooklyn Yurick takes it right away from Erica Payne, left in a layup up and good. And Naylor is just doing whatever they want here in the first quarter. Vicky on the left wing. Gives it back out front to Beal. She's going to try a three-pointer, a long one, no good. And uh, a nice hustle by Paige Eddington to get another shot for the Donettes out front to Beal. Over to Eddington, takes the shot, jumper up short, and Tharp rebounds for Naylor. At least they got a couple of shots off that time. And uh, Rich got the ball for Naylor. And she was going to pass it to Urick and a nice play there by Erica Payne as she jumped back in front of Urick. And she forced Rich to drag the pivot foot. Well, Jayla Ellis going to inbound for the Donettes underneath her own basket. And again, she tries to throw it over in the other corner, and it's picked off again. Gives it to Yurick. Now to Rich. Rich open from just inside the free throw line. No good. Paige Eddington with a rebound. And we got a foul on the back court. I think it's going to be on Naylor. Oh, they're calling an illegal screen on Shay Lee Ficky. I don't even think she even needed to do that. Rich checks out. Rogers back in for Naylor. As uh, Savannah Aaron comes in for to replace Ella for the Donettes. See Naylor's ball at midcourt. 26 to 3. Minute 48 left in the first quarter. Naylor with the basketball and a 23 point lead. And they have basically done nothing wrong here in the first quarter. And the Donettes haven't been able to do anything. Gargak catches in the paint. Her shot up, no good, but she's fouled. Two shots coming for Gracie Gargak. 
going to be on Savannah Aaron. Gargak has two points. She was 0 of 2 earlier at the free throw line, but she makes this one. She makes it 27 to 3. And Lauren Rich is coming back in for Naylor. And she's replacing Brooklyn Urich. And Coach Deckard has used six girls, and he has got all of his starters to rest here in the first quarter. Every one of them has been out. Gargak makes that one, too. So after she missed the first two of the game, they've made four in a row. Erica Payne. Now Rich is on the front of that 1-3-1 trap. Over to Payne on the left wing. Payne backs it back out. Over to Beal, head of the key. Gives it right side to Eddington. Tries to dribble baseline, she's cut off and the ball is lost out of bounds. And Tharp, I guess, got a hand on it. It looked like maybe it went off of Eddington. But Aaron will throw it in, way out by the three point line. And her bounce pass stolen by Rogers. And then they call her for a travel. <laughs> Donnets might have got a break there because I sure didn't see that. I bet the Donnets haven't got off six shots here in the first quarter. Turned it over a whole lot. Erica Payne has it knocked away, stolen. Rich, one on three, she's gonna take it all the way. Goes down, puts it up and it's blocked by Thickey. And Erica Payne gets it. Aaron will bring it into the front court, bounces it to Beal. 50 seconds left. Thickey at the head of the key. Over in the corner, Payne. Fakes the shot, puts it on the floor, ball kicked away. That should have been a kick. Now we got a tie up. And it'll stay with the Donettes. And Gracie Gargak and Lauren Rich both on the floor for Naylor. Gargak's bent over the knees. They, all of them went to the floor for the basketball. Now she's getting up. Shayna Tharp checks out. I think I said a while ago all the starters have been out. I believe that's the first time Tharp's been out. She needs to go out. She's got 16 points here in the first quarter. 47 seconds left. And I think they're going to, maybe Gargak's going to check out of the game. Or somebody is. Loritz is going to check out. She may be, I don't know if she's bleeding a little bit or not. So now they've got four girls 5'10 or taller on the floor, which the Donettes almost have the same thing. It's just the Donettes are not playing as aggressive. And again, they haven't played as much together as the Naylor Lady Eagles have. And the Donettes will get there. It's just going to take a little while. Paige Eddington makes a, uh, uses a head fake, which we don't see that near enough. And she gets fouled, and she'll get to go to the free throw line. Eddington, 5'8", freshman. Puts the free throw in the air, and in and out. That foul was on Tharp, her first. That's only two team fouls against Naylor. 43 seconds left here in the first quarter. Eddington's second was off the back iron and Rogers rebounds for Naylor. Gives it to Urich up ahead of the front court to Tharp. And she tries to throw it to Callie Pickrell and she throws it too far out in front of her and it goes out of bounds and Donnett's get it back on the turnover. Naylor hadn't very, had very many turnovers here in the first quarter. Payne in the front court. <laughs> Urich just coming right up behind her and stole it. Passes it over to Rogers, shot up and good. I cannot figure out how come when you just dribble by somebody that you don't know that they're behind you. <laughs> Erica Payne just acted like she didn't even know she was there. She just dribbled right past her. Thickey's going to put one up and it won't go as it rattles in and out. And the rebound comes down to Naylor. Gargak tries to throw it in the paint to Rogers, it's knocked away. And that's the end of the first quarter. But it was a heck of a good one for Naylor. 30 to three. They lead the Donettes here at Donovan. We'll take a 60 second break. We'll be back with more Donettes basketball on KYEC 88.3 FM.
it's already ugly, but it's gonna get up. Well, it's gonna get ugly. Well, not only does the Naylor have a 30 to three lead at the end of the first quarter, they get the ball first in the second quarter. They went back with their starters and Tharp is open again on the left side and she shot an air ball on three pointer, but the Donets don't get the rebound. Gargak gets it, they get it inside to Rogers. It's knocked away and stolen by Eddington. And we're gonna have a foul, I think on Rogers after she lost the ball. Well, Tharp had uh, scored 16 points in the first quarter. She hit four three-pointers, and she shot an air ball on that one. Naylor still in the 1-3-1. You're at Garden in the back court, one-on-one. -on -one. Beal gets it into the front court to Erica Payne. In the corner to Aaron, and it's knocked away by Rogers. Aaron has to go to the floor to get it. She needs to get rid of it because the tie ball is going to, well, they're going to keep it. Naylor got that one. Uh, they call a tie ball, and it'll be Donette's ball. It's uh, Rogers, Tharp, Gargak, Rich, and Urich. Aaron's jumper from the baseline, no good. And the rebound knocked away by Eddington back to Aaron. Her shot, no good. Eddington gets another rebound, hands it to Haley Beal. She's going to shoot it from right elbow, no good. Erica Payne gets the rebound, tips it over to Aaron, and Aaron scores, and she's fouled. The Donettes got as many shots in that one possession as I think they did the whole first quarter. And that's two fouls on Rodgers and Coach Deckard upset over that. And I can't really say as I blame him, even though he's teamed up 30 to five, you don't want to see him start doing that. Uh, Savannah Aaron got the bucket and she'll get the shoot for the three point play. As that was the second foul on Cabri and Rodgers. Both teams now have four fouls apiece. And uh, one, I know one thing, Coach Deckard will keep coaching. If he's 40 ahead or two ahead, he's gonna coach the same way. And, uh, you know, I know you wonder sometimes, people wonder, well, how come he got such a big lead? He's not, you know, pulling back. Well, this is only the third game of the season. They're getting ready to start the Twin Rivers Lady Rolls Holiday Classic, just like the Donettes are. And you gotta, you gotta keep playing. You gotta try to get better. Well, Aaron will be at the free throw line. And Rogers checked out during that timeout and uh, Callie Picker will come back in. Oh, Savannah Aaron looking for a three-point play, the old-fashioned way. And her free throw off the back iron, no good. Tharp gets a rebound for Naylor. It's 30 to five, seven ten to go in the first half. Rich, free throw line to Gargak. Down low to Pickerel. She jump hook, kind of kind of throwed that one up, is no good. And Paige Eddington with a rebound. She tries to throw it through traffic and it's picked off again. And Tharp's one-on-one -on -one with Thickey. Goes in on the left side, stops, and Thickey blocks the shot, and she gets the ball. Up ahead to Hallie Beal. Haley Beal, excuse me. Beal goes in, shot up, and we're going to have a blocking foul called on Lauren Rich. And she tell you what, she didn't like much getting there for the charge. That's Rich's second, so Rich has got two, as well as Rogers now. And let's see if Haley Beal can make a free throw. Donettes haven't made one yet. And she does make this one. That's her first point. Makes the score 30 to six. Boy, the Naylor, Lady Eagles was shooting in the first quarter. They scored 30 in the first quarter. We played a minute and 15 seconds and haven't scored yet here in this quarter. Both free throws are good by Beal. That makes it 30 to seven. And man to man defense by the Donettes. They come out of that zone early. They get it to Tharp in the paint. Step back jumper up and good. 18 for Shayna Tharp, the 5'10 senior. Erica Payne dribbles to the three-point line. Now into the paint, shot up, no good. It's an air ball, Pickerel with a rebound. Gives it to Yurik, and she kind of slows it down a little bit, waits on her teammate. Right wing to Rich, right back to Yurik between the circles. Now she goes back to Pickerel on the right wing. Pickerel 
Back to Yurick. Yurick gets around Payne all the way down. Nobody picked her up again. No help defense. That's the second time that's happened. And that right there has got to make Coach more mad than anything else. And the Yurick steals it again. Takes it right away from Erica Payne. And she waits on the traffic to clear in the back court. Now she'll bring it into the front court. 34 to 7, favor of Naylor. Left wing to Tharp and the paint to Pickle and Vicky blocks the shot again. Pass up ahead, Beal goes in, shot up and another block and foul on Rich. And she's got three now. She's tried to draw two of those in the last couple of minutes here. Coach Deckard wanted a foul on Pickle's shot down there and he maybe should have got one, I don't know. That's three on Rich. And 16 fouls, so this last 526, the Donettes will go to the free throw line when they get fouled. Beal misses the first one, but the free throw line hadn't been too kind to the Donettes. Two of six so far. And let's see, we had a sub come in. Beal's second one's good, I'll get that sub in just a second. Number 14, that is Chelsea Rigdon, a 5'3 sophomore. She played really well in the JV game. Yurick, right side, gives it to Tharp behind a three point line. Tharp puts it on the floor a couple times, back to Yurick. Yurick at the head of the key, dribbles in, bounces low. Callie Pickle turns and puts it up and in. That's her first two. And Yurick is eating the Donettes up, while getting around her man very, well, too easily almost. Aaron is double teamed in the corner. Dribbles out of it, and she traveled it. Nope, they didn't call it, I thought she did. Gets it to Payne. Payne to Beal at the head of the key. Beal double dribbled. She had Aaron wide open underneath the basket. If you got the ball on the right side against the one three one, if you move it quick enough, under the left side of the basket, if somebody will step there, they're gonna be wide open every time, and vice versa, if the ball's on the left side, Somebody steps underneath the right side, they'll be wide open. Donetz just can't seem to take care of it. Down low to Pickerel, puts it up again. No good, but she's fouled this time by Shaylee Ficky. That's two. And Callie Pickerel will shoot two. Naylor missed the first two. They're four of four cents. Four of six here in the first half. 434 to go. Pickerel's free throw is no good. Goes down in and comes back out. That was the second foul on Vicky. Thirty-six to eight, Naylor leads it. Next one by Pickrell off the back iron, no good. Tharp with the rebound, she missed it. Rebound on the other side by Gargak, and she puts it in. They just played Annie over till they scored, and that's kind of what they were doing in the uh, first quarter. Donets had stopped them offensive rebounds a little bit. And pass into the middle. Payne throws it away again. Tharp takes it all the way down. Goes down, shot up off the glass and in. That is just too easy. She was one on two and made it look easy. 40 to eight. Erica Payne left side. Dribbles to the baseline. She's open from 15, shoots at 16. Way over the goal. And it goes out of bounds off of Shayna Tharp. As Cabrian and Rogers comes back in for Naylor, replaces Callie Pickrell. Savannah Aaron throws it in for the Donettes. Out front, Ficky open at the top of the key. Three-pointer, no good. Doesn't draw any iron off the glass. And uh, Gargak rebounds for Naylor. Gives it to Yurick. Naylor with a 40-8 lead with 3.43 left in the first half. Rogers at the free throw line. Puts it on the floor, left-handed layup up too hard. And Savannah Aaron rebounds. That was a good move, but she didn't finish the shot. Pass ahead to uh, Paige Eddington. It goes right through her hands, and Yurick comes up with it again. Man, she's a water bug. Penetrates, kicks it over to Rogers. going to go out of bounds. That time, Yurick probably should have shot that one. And it goes out off of Rogers. Defense a little too close to her there. But she's done a really nice job here in the first half. Payne looking for somebody to go to, to Ficky. Just outside the free throw lane. Now she takes it down into the paint. And if she goes up, we're gonna have a blocking foul. It's gonna be on Rigdon. And 
I don't know if they're giving her two shots or a one and one. Looks like a one and one. No, maybe not, because they're not. Callie Pick was at the scores table and they didn't let her come in, so it must be two shots. Picky's first one is good. Now Pickrell comes in and replaces Tharp. And that is uh, first point of the game for Ficky. She had 21 the other night in New Madrid County, so they've held her down. This one's good. 40 to 10. 310 left in the first half. Naylor up by 30. Yurick crosses the timeline. Met by Erica Payne at the volleyball line. Payne gets a hand on it, ball loose, but again it goes right to Gargak. As Donetsk can't really catch a break there, they tip one and it goes right to Naylor. And we're going to have a foul on Savannah Aaron. That's two on her. Team foul number six. So we'll be shooting free throws this last 258 if we have any more fouls. Gargak to inbound it. Underneath, wide open is Pickerel. And she set the screen and rolled, and she was wide open for an easy one underneath. So that almost took the full five seconds. It was getting close. Vicky has it knocked away, but it goes back to Aaron, and her pass batted out of bounds by Cabrian Rogers. Tharp comes back in. I'm going to replace Rogers as Coach Decker continues to rotate his players in and out. He was only using six until Lauren Rich got her third foul. She's been out for a little while, and then he brought Rigdon in. So now he's rotating the other six. Inside Aaron, wide open, puts it up in the left hand, no good, and a tie ball on the rebound. She had a pretty good look at that one. It wouldn't go. It'll be Naylor's basketball. Two and a half minutes as Coach Urich looks over to, I mean, <laughs> as Urich looks over to Coach Deckard. She's almost like a coach out there on the floor. He's just dribbling back and forth out front. Gives it left wing to Rigdon. At the free throw line to Gargax. Going to take it on the right side, and she's fouled by Aaron. And that's three on Savannah Aaron. And that'll be a one and one for Gargak. Ellith comes back in. She is uh, replacing Savannah Aaron with those three personal fouls. Gargak's free throw, no good. And the ball's going to go out of bounds, I think, off of Haley Beal. Got to get those rebounds on missed free throws. At least they didn't get an offensive rebound and put it in that time. They do have to take it out of bounds. Last inbounds play, they got a wide open layup underneath. This time they have to throw it into Tharp. She gives it to Pickerel underneath, goes up, and she's fouled. And that's three on Fiki. And she almost looked like she'd done that on purpose. I don't know why she would do that. She's either going to have to keep playing with three or going to have to check out the game rest the first half. Pickerel with four points. Free throw is good as it hits the front of the rim and crawls over and falls through. And we got uh, Jacqueline Friend comes in for Ficky. Friend, the 5 5 freshman. And Pickerel gets both free throws, give her six points, and the lead is 34. Payne hounded in the backcourt by Yurick. Gets it to Eddington at the free throw line. She's going to stop and pop from about six. It's short. Gets her own rebound, goes up, and she's hammered there by Shana Tharp. I'll say one thing for Paige Eddington. She don't never give up. She missed that first one, but she went and got the rebound. And that's two fouls on Tharp. She has already got 20 points here in the first half. I think she may be coming out. Rogers has a scores table. Paige Eddington makes the free throw. That's her first point, and Dart does check out. Pickerel, Rogers, Gargak, Rigdon, and Urich for Naylor. Donettes have Eliff and Friend. Eddington, Beal, and Payne. Now 
Eddington's second one is on the way, and it's good. Two minutes left in the first half. Naylor up 44 to 12. Yurick gets around her man again and then a reach in. That time there was help defense by Eddington, but she fouled her. That is her first foul. And team foul number nine, so it'll still be a one and one. It'll be Brooklyn Yurick. After this one, they'll shoot two. Their free throw, no good. And a rebound underneath by Gargag, but she missed a shot, and Eddington gets the rebound. Passes ahead to Friend. Friend's going to take it in. Shot up, no good. And they call an offensive foul, but it wasn't. I, I mean, I hate to say that, folks, but she sidestepped her and didn't even come close to hitting her head on. But I think they thought they'd been calling too many blocks, and Coach Decker had been on to them. So, so that's Friend's first foul. Naylor gets it back. Here it gets a screen. Cut off at the right elbow as Ellis done a nice job helping that time. They give it back to Urich out front. She passes the left wing to Rigdon. Rigdon back to Urich between the circles. Dribbles over to the right side, throws the free throw line to Rogers. She squares up, now puts it on the floor, stops and pops, it's good. Eight points for Rogers. And even though Tharp has got 20 points, they've spread the scoring around pretty good and Payne gets stripped by Urich. And they're going to call a travel. I really don't know why she didn't get up. <laughs> hmm. I don't know why he called that. That wasn't a walk. She didn't get up. <laughs> Donette's got a break there. <laughs> they need some. Beal gives it right corner to Friend. Tries to get it to Eddington. Knocked away. It's loose on the floor. And another tie ball in this one. Oh, they're going to call. give Coach Decker the timeout. But uh, both players' hands on the ball. I don't agree with that. But 101 to go first half. 46-12 Naylor. We will take a 30-second break and be back on KYEC 88.3 FM. to go in the first half. Naylor leads the Donettes 46 to 12. During the timeout, they bring in number five. That is Lauren Davis, a 5'4 freshman. She replaces Cabri and Rogers. Donettes still in a man-to-man. -man. Yurik gets a screen from Gargak. It's a moving screen all over the place. <laughs> and she's done that four or five times. They haven't called it yet. You set a screen, you got to stand still. But a good defense there by Shayla Elif, uh, by Jayla Elif as she uh, dives to the floor and uh, ties up, and actually she was going for a steal and she tied up the Naylor player and the Donettes get the ball back. Elif down low, goes in and throws up a wild shot and the Naylor bails her out. They call that on Gracie Gargak, her first. And it's still a one and one, that's team foul number nine. Jayla Elliff looking for her first point. Puts it up and it's good. Forty-six to thirteen, Naylor on top with thirty-seven seconds left in the first half. And free throw good by Elliff. Donets have made seven in a row. They need to get there a little more. Yurik into the front court again, gets a moving screen by Gargak. And she's just moving all over the place and she goes to the hole, lays up, missed the layup. And a rebound by Paige Eddington. She comes up the red and right side. She's gonna take it all the way. Goes in, shot up, and that's a charge and no call. And then on the rebound, <laughs> let's get it. <laughs> that was the best charge they drew all night and he didn't call it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know. Coach Deckard wondering about that. That foul. 
I don't know who that's on. They got a number one up there. There's not a number one out there. Two shots coming for Jayla Ellip. She just made two there a minute ago. This one's a little long. 46-14, 12.3 seconds left in the first half. Knees bleeding, so she's going to have to check out. We'll send Savannah Aaron back in. She'll shoot the second free throw. Twelve point three seconds to go, and Emma Moman is getting ready to check in for Naylor if if Aaron makes this free throw, and she does. Gargat comes out. Coach Decker didn't want her getting her third foul. Excuse me, she's only got one. 12 seconds left. He does leave Urich in there. So he's got three, su four subs in there with Urich right now. But Callie Pickles almost like a starter. She's still in there. Rigdon. And a long three-pointer by Brooklyn Urich was right on line but short. I think Rigdon didn't know how much time was left. But that's the uh, end of the first half. Donetsk did a little bit better on defense that quarter and a little better on offense, but they still got outscored uh, 16 to 12, and they trail it 46 to 15 here at halftime to the Naylor Lady Eagles. The second half underway here, Naylor with the basketball. They start Gargak, Tharp, Urich, Rich, and Rogers. They're starting five. Donetsk in a 2-3 zone with Payne, P Eddington, Ellis, Ficky, and... Uh, Beal on the floor. Gargak throws it on the left side. Tharp open for a three. She missed this one. She made four of those in the first half. She missed one. Ball's going to go out of bounds, and it's going to be Donetsk basketball. Lauren Rich out there playing with three fouls for the uh, Naylor Lady Eagles, and the Donets have uh, Shaylee Thickey with three. In the paint, Thickey, nice pass. Oh, she put it up and in, but they call a foul before the shot on Gracie Gargak. That's two on her and substitute already coming in for Naylor. I don't know, they've still got that one on number one up there and there's not a number one on either team. Inbounds pass to Ficky, catches underneath, goes up and she's fouled by Pickerel who just checked into the game. Well, Donetz may have found something there. They, that would have been nice if that first one hadn't have got Foul calls so soon because Vicky made a nice move and made the shot. Well, I looked away and I don't know if she made that first shot or not. They didn't put it up on the board, but I thought she made it. The second one's good for sure. We'll have to wait and see how many points they. She must have missed the first one. Vicky makes the second. She's got three. It's 46 16. Just underway in the third quarter, down low on the right block. Rogers turns and Ficky blocks the shot. But instead of looking behind her to see where the ball was, she just stood there. And I think she probably thought she had her fourth foul. <laughs> and uh, she, the ball just dropped right behind her and went out of bounds. Pickerel inbound it. Lobs it in and stolen by Payne. It's a overshot Rogers. Rogers runs into the back of Payne. No call there, but the Donettes keep possession. Beal between the circles, down low. Paige Eddington with a nice move and hit the underside of the rim. And Rich rebounds and gives it to Urich. We've played a minute in the third quarter here. Rich has it on the right wing. Skip past the Tharp on the left side. Back out front to Urich. She goes to Rich on the right side. Again, skip past the Tharp. Fakes the three, goes baseline, shot up and good and a foul. And that foul's on Elif. That'll be two on her. And Tharp will be looking for the old-fashioned three-point play. The 5'10 senior got 22 points right now. And the free throw is good. Well, she's got a pretty shot. And they go in a lot. Payne double-teamed, the ball thrown into the backcourt. 
It's knocked loose. Yurik's got it. Tharp is ahead of everybody, and she lays it in. Got about five bodies on the floor, and I think four of them were Donettes. Well, Naylard went back into that three-quarter court trap. Again, trying to dribble through it and almost gets it stolen. She throws it to Thickey, who has to come way out by the volleyball line to help her out. And she is immediately tied up by Yurik. Pickerel checks out. And she's limping a little bit when she comes to the bench. And the alternating possession there. There was no reason for that to happen, though. Pass to the left side to Eddington. And she traveled with it. She's thinking about passing into Thickey, and the de defense collapsed on her. And uh, she was going a little faster than she could get stopped. 51 to 16. Tharp gets it to the Gargak on the elbow, puts it on the floor, back out to Tharp. She's open again on the left side. And you cannot leave her open. 28. And the ball loose on the floor. As again, Yurik knocked it away from Payne. And a tie ball. And this one will belong to Naylor. They're going to the other end, but it's Naylor's because Donette's just got the ball just a minute ago. Shayna Tharp may have a career night before this is over. Got 28. I'm, I know she's probably had some high point games, but it's got to be getting probably close to her highest point game. She's open again on the right side this time, and it's good again. <laughs> 31 points, and we've just played a little over two minutes of the third quarter. And again, Beal trying to pass to the wing from too far away, and Coach Moore just told her, keep dribbling, get over there closer. It's knocked out of bounds, and last touch by Rogers. Naylor very, very active in that 1-3-1 zone. Baseline, Elif almost steps out, and then she throws it back to Beal, and Yurik gets it, and Beal fouls her. And some of these fouls that Don Ets are getting are just out of frustration after they throw it away or something. They're just, they're just fouling to be fouling. You can see it on their faces, 57-16. And uh, it's a short timeout, so we'll take one. We'll take a 30-second break, and we'll be back. Stay with us. Naylor with the basketball, they get it down low to Rogers. She bulls her way in there, backs in, and puts it up and in, a little jump hook. And she's the second player for Naylor in double figures with 10. 31 for Shayna Tharp. It's a 43-point lead, and that time Beal passed over the top before she got up there to Paige Eddington down low, but Naylor got back and blocked the shot, blocked it out of bounds. Jacqueline Friend checks in for Haley Beal. It'll be Donnett's ball underneath. Ella throws out front to Thickey. Thickey gonna take it all the way to the hole. She lays it up and in. Nobody stopped her, so she just shot it from about three or four feet out on the right side off the glass and got it to go. Rich has it on the right side for Naylor. Back out front to Yurick against the Donnett zone. Over to Tharp. Skip pass right side to Rich in the paint. Rogers gets a screen, shot, shot it a little too hard. Tharp had it, but it's stolen away from her by Paige Eddington. Eddington's going to come to the other end. She's got a paint on the left side, goes in, puts it up, and good. Not his first fast break of the night, I believe. And it's 59 to 20. Halfway through the third quarter, we've got four minutes to go as Yurick walks it up. Dribbles right side, gives it to Payne. Back to Yurick. 
She swings it left side to Tharp. Tharp dribbles baseline into Rogers. Wide open about four. No good. And the Donets bailed her out with a foul. This one's going to be on Ella, and that will be her third. And Cabri and Rogers will shoot two free throws. She's a 5'10 junior, and it's a little long. Ellis checks out. Savannah Aaron back in for the Donettes. Three minutes and 52 seconds left in the third quarter. It's 59 to 20 in favor of Naylor. Rogers trying to give them a 40 point lead and this one's good and she does. And she will go to the bench. She'll be replaced by Gracie Gargak. Erica Payne picks up her dribble near her midcourt. Gives it left side to Aaron. Now ahead of the key to Thickey. Thickey puts it on the floor. Right elbow jumper, no good. She goes and gets her own rebound. Has it knocked away from behind, but she's fouled. And it's going to be on Callie Pickrell. That is two on her. Both teams have three team fouls here in the third quarter. It'll be Donette's ball underneath their own basket. Savannah Aaron will toss it in. Throws it into Paige Eddington. Cross court, picked off by Pickrell. She's going to take it all the way down. Goes in, shot up and under the thicky. And on the rebound, we got a tie ball between Eddington and Gargak. And it'll be Donette's ball on the alternating possession. Payne left side to Friend. Friend puts it on the floor, gonna put up the jumper just inside the three point line, no good. Eddington rebounded, her shot blocked. Payne got it, missed it, and a pass out to Urich. And Eddington trying to catch up with her, she does, but Urich puts it in. That's good hustle there by Paige Eddington though. Down by 40 points to hustle back and try to get the, oh my goodness. Savannah Aaron was six feet into the front court and threw it into the back court to Erica Payne. Rigdon comes in and replaces Yurik, and Yurik gets a nice hand. She goes to the bench, she's got eight points, and she has played a fantastic game for Naylor, their little point guard. Rigdon will handle the point guard duties now with 2.55 left in the third quarter. And she bounces it to Rich on the right wing, deep behind the three-point line, head of the key to Tharp. Free throw line to Pickerel, fakes the shot, jump stop, shot off the glass, no good. And the rebound is taken out of, taken out of Gracie Gargak's hands by Patterson. She dribbles the other end and she's fouled from behind. It's gonna be on Chelsea Rigdon. <clears throat> Team foul number four. And two personal fouls on Chelsea Rigdon. Bounce pass comes into Payne. She's open just inside three-point line. It's blocked by Tharp. Eddington gets the rebound, misses, gets it back, puts it up, misses again. And a tie ball on the rebound this time, Gargak and Aaron. And it'll belong to Naylor. Eddington working hard in there. She just can't get the ball to go in the basket. She got a couple of shots at it there. And she's a two or three inches shorter than most of those girls out there, but she's getting her hands on a lot of rebounds. And Tharp and Rogers come back in. And I don't know who went out. Gargak has it ahead of the key. Dribbles down into the paint. Takes it all the way to the hole. Shot up no good on the left side. And ja Jacqueline Friend gets the rebound. Passes into the front court to Savannah Aaron. Stop. Puts it up from 15. It's good. Makes it 62-22. And Tharp wide open on the left side. Takes it all the way in and lays it up. I don't know what happened there. 33 points for Shayna Tharp. 64 to 22 with 140 left in the third quarter. Eddington has it baseline. Throws it out front to Ficky. Fakes a pass. Goes right elbow. Gets tied up there. And Payne has to come around behind her and help her out. Gives it back to Ficky. Down low to Aaron. Turn around jumper up and it won't go. Crawled around all over the rim. Wouldn't fall in. Good pass. Pass up ahead in the front court to Tharp. Free throw line to Gargak. 
They're going to throw it back out to Rigdon, and they reset the offense here with 1.10 to go in the third quarter. 64 to 22. Rigdon dribbling around out front, throws it to Tharp. Looks like they may be running a little delay game here, working on that a little bit. We'll go for the last shot. Tharp gives it to Rich. Rich hits Tharp going back door in the paint. Rogers free throw line jumper, no good. And Eddington gets the rebound and she took off with it before she put it on the floor. And a travel called. And we have Brooklyn Urick coming back in. She replaces Lauren Rich. It'll be Naylor's ball underneath their own basket. 48 seconds to play in the third. Looks like at least to start with in the fourth quarter, we're gonna have a running clock. 42-point <laughs> lead right now. And I guess we got a five-second call on Naylor. They didn't get it down in, in time. And Adonis will bring it into the front court. I guess that's what he called. I didn't see anything else. Payne lobs it down low, and Yurik. Almost knocks it. Well, she does knock it away. Almost got a steal there. Or, excuse me, that was Rigdon. That wasn't Yurik. She's, they're both about the same size. Actually, Rigdon's a little hair taller than they got Yurik listed at 5'1". She plays a lot bigger than that, I tell you. Friend dribbles over to the right side. Gives it to Ficky at the head of the key. Ficky puts it on the floor. Left elbow jumper up, no good. And Gargak rebounds for Naylor. Gives it to Yurik with 20 seconds left in the third quarter. Yurik dribbles to the center of the floor. Left side to Tharp. Back to Yurik. They're going to try to get Tharp open on this right side. No, she's going to go back to the left side. And she is going to be open, wide open. Three pointer up good. And that's the end of the third quarter, 67 22. Naylor on top of the Donets. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Stay with us here on KYEC. Well, the Donets are taking it on the chin here tonight at the hands of the Naylor Lady Eagles. We start the fourth quarter. We'll be have a running clock. It's 67 to 22. And Erica Payne, Savannah Aaron, Paige Eddington. And the Donets turned over again, but Payne does get it back, and then she's fouled. Uh, let's see. we got Savannah Aaron, Erica Payne, Shaylee Ficky, Jaqueline Friend, and Paige Eddington. And that foul on... Cabri and Rogers, her third, and five team fouls against Naylor. Inbounds pass comes to Payne. They leave her open for a three. It's no good. No good, and Rogers rebounds for Naylor. Jurek, Rogers, Pickrell, Gargak, and Tharp. And uh, Coach Moore is getting ready to bring in a, a new five here. That first dead ball. Pickerel out front to Yurik, back to Pickerel. She's going to try a three from the left, right wing, no good. Long rebound comes back out to Yurik at the head of the key, and they'll restart. She takes it right side to Pickerel. Back to Yurik, back to Pickerel. Now in the paint to Gargag, down low. Rogers wide open underneath on the left side. She puts it in. 13 for Rogers and a good pass from Gracie Gargag. And the ball knocked out of bounds by Shayna Tharp. We'll have Ellis coming in. 
And we'll also have uh, Rachel St. Sin. See who's going to stay in there. Paige Eddington. We've got Ella. We've got Mackenzie Moore. Logan Clark. And I think that's it. I think I told all of them. Clark has it at the free throw line. Lobs it down low to Ella, and she lost it. And it goes out of bounds. And Lauren Rich coming back in for Naylor. Clock running with six minutes left. It's 69 to 22. Not going to take too long to play this quarter. That's for sure. Rich will run the point now with Urich on the bench. Tharp gives it to Rogers at the free throw line. Back out front to Rich. Rich back to Rogers. She faces up at the free throw line, dribbles down the right side, kicks it out to Pickle on the right wing. She loses her dribble. Back out front to Rich with 5.30 left. Rich stops at the head of the key, gives it to Tharp. Tharp looking for Rich to reset. Now Tharp dribbles to the middle of the floor. Gives it to Rogers at the free throw line. She's going to put it on the floor. They just run off and left her. And she went in wide open with the left-handed leg. I mean, they, oh my goodness. Down low, Eddington catches underneath and lays it in. First field goal tonight for Eddington. Makes it 71-24. Five minutes to go as everybody runs off and leaves Lauren Rich. And now Tharp gets back in time before they get the five-second call. Rich gives it to Tharp on the left wing. She's going to back it back out. Now she dribbles back to the three-point line. Now backs it out again. Donette's playing man-to-man. -man. Gets it to Rich, and she's going to have a wide-open left-handed layup. No weak side help again. And that's something the Donettes are going to definitely have to work on if they play man-to-man. -man. They're going to have to work on that weak side help. And another steal by Gargak. Tharp, I believe, tipped the pass. Tharp on the left wing with it. Gives it to Gargak. Down underneath to Rogers, and she gets away from Clark and lays it in. And Rogers has got 17 points now. We've got 4.05 to go. Now we got Coach Decker getting ready to bring his JV squad in. That's about what the Donettes have out there now. They played. They already played two quarters of the JV game tonight. And I don't have a num number 25. I have no idea who that is. It's not on here. We got Moman in there. Uh, I don't have a 21 either. <laughs> oh, that's 20. I'm sorry. McKenna McGee, Moman. Rigdon, and uh, Lauren Davis is back in there along with number 25, and I have no idea who she is. So 36 points tonight for Shayna Tharp, and Rogers finished with 17. Naylor with a basketball, 3-10 to go. They lead 75-24. Rigdon down into the paint, little floater no good, and the rebound's going to go out of bounds off of Paige Eddington. Donettes are going to have to regroup for Thursday night. They're going to have to shake this one off because you don't want any ill effects. You don't even want to be thinking about that game, this game Thursday night. Because you're done beating the matter, you know you can beat them. And we're going to have a travel on Emma Moman. And we got 2.35 left. That's when the Donettes will be back in action Thursday night, 7 o'clock, first round of the Twin Rivers. The Lady Rolls Christmas Classic. Ellis going to fire a three. It's short. Clark rebounds underneath, and she puts it up no good. Battle for the rebound, and Eddington had it and lost it. And coming out of there with it is Lauren Davis. And Eddington a little slow to get up. Davis bounce pass underneath. And that's number 25. I have no idea who she is. We're going to give it to McGee, but that's not who scored it. Eddington checks out, Savannah Aaron comes in. She's limping, she comes off the bench. Hopefully that's not anything serious. That's all they need is some more injuries. 77 to 24. St. Sand brings it into the front court, dribbles over to the right side. Left side, two more. Fourth pass into the paint, stolen. That's Davis, she's gonna take it all the way to the other end. She double dribbled.
Donetsk defeated Hayt uh, New Madrid last Thursday night by 27. Now, I think uh, Coach Moore told me that they did have one of their starters, not necessarily their best player, that was gone to a funeral or a visitation or something wasn't there, but I doubt if she'd have made 27 points worth of difference. Donetsk missed a shot, and it's going to be Naylor's basketball. So the Donets are just going to have to figure out how they played last Thursday and play that way again if they want to advance. Want to get in the winner's bracket if you can in that tournament. Lose the first game, the best you can do is the Constellation Championship. Rigdon gets into the paint. Bounces down low, the ball knocked away. Good hustle there by Logan Clark. And with 40 seconds to go, it's going to be Naylor's basketball. Clark knocked it out of bounds. Davis to inbound it. Underneath to Rigdon, she puts it up, missed it. And the rebound comes down to Savannah Aaron. Lobs it ahead to Elliff. Elliff stops on the left side, head of the key to St. Sin. Wide open, doesn't take it. Down low to McKenzie Moore, her shot off the glass, good. 77-26, 16 seconds left. Rigdon dribbles in the front court, gives it to Davis. We'll see if Naylor even tries to get off a shot here. Davis dribbles down, gives it in the corner. Yeah, they're gonna shoot it, three-pointer air ball. Clark with a rebound, and that's gonna do it. We got a foul call, but that's gonna do it. Final score is gonna be Naylor 77, and the Donettes 26. Here for, uh, at, I mean, excuse me, at the Bill L. Wright Gymnasium, final score, Naylor 77, Donovan 26. Be back in two minutes to wrap things up. Stay with us. <laughs> 